Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my pathology playlist. In previous videos, we talked about acute inflammation. We talked about the basics of oncology or neoplasia, which include benign tumors as well as malignant tumors known as cancer. Today, we shall talk about hamartoma. If it ends in oma, it means it's a mass. Hey, Medicosis, would you consider hamartoma to be a neoplasia? No. No, it's not a neoplasia. So is it benign or malignant then? It's not a neoplasia. Therefore, we cannot say benign or malignant. Is it dangerous? No. Will it kill me? Probably not. Now let's get started. Before watching this video, please refer to my previous video titled Cancer Basics, an introduction to oncology. What is growth? Well, you grow as an embryo. That's normal. When tissues get injured, they grow. It's called healing and regeneration. Also, growth could be a neoplasia or something similar to neoplasia like a hematoma what is cancer cancer is a malignant neoplasia it's a malignant tumor but is hematoma a tumor no hematoma is a tumor like growth types of cellular growth include hypertrophy hyperplasia metaplasia dysplasia and neoplasia we have talked about these before remember that neoplasia can be divided into benign tumors and malignant tumors neoplasia abnormal mass of tissue whose growth exceeds and is uncoordinated with that of normal tissue and to make matters worse it persists even after the cessation of the original stimulus neoplasia i.e. tumors are divided into benign and malignant since hematoma is not a neoplasia we will not put it under this classification so what is a hematoma then it's not a true neoplasia it's not capsulated all right if it's not a tumor what is it it's tumor like growth developmental malformation composed of mature tissue it's an overgrowth it is disorganized haphazard where is it located at its native or indigenous site why do i care because in the next video i'll tell you about choreostoma which is not at the native site it's at the foreign site for example when we have pancreatic tissue in the stomach what the flip that's a choreostoma because the pancreatic tissue is supposed to be in the pancreas not in the wall of the stomach so that will be a choreostoma but if we have growth that is disorganized and haphazard at the native site like an angioma in a vessel like bronchial hematoma in the bronchi at the native site this is a hematoma and usually stops growing at puberty give me examples of these hematomas bronchial hematoma angioma angiomyolipoma which is associated with tuberous sclerosis benign melanoma not to be confused with the malignant melanoma multiple exostosis as well as multiple neurofibromatosis if you have studied the neurofibromatosis disease you would recall that we have multiple hamartomas today we did not talk about cancer because hamartoma is not a cancer if you want to learn about cancer though i have many videos about the subject you'll find them in my oncology playlist such as lung cancer pancreatic cancer leukemias lymphomas multiple myeloma and nasopharyngeal carcinoma tumors are anything that ends in oma except oklahoma if you want to learn about more cancers check out my surgery high yields course on my website medicosisperfectionist.com and my obstetrics gynecology course also on my website to learn about emergency conditions like arrhythmias angina myocardial infarction strokes toxicology and much more download my emergency medicine high yields course at medicosisperfectsnalis.com if you do not want to download my premium courses but would rather watch them right here on youtube click the join button choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now thank you for watching please subscribe hit the bell support my channel here or here go to my website to download my courses notes and cases be safe stay happy study hard this is medicosis perfectionatus where medicine makes perfect sense